Welcome, everyone. This is the Day Trader Genius online daily review for January 15th, 2019. I'm Scott. Joining us is Coach Rob. And our goal here is to show you that pretty much Monday to Thursday, we take Friday off. There are opportunities to make money with stock options and using our proprietary software, our amazing coaching and strategies. You can do this as well. So, Coach Rob, what happened today? Well, as we always do, we see what happened within the basket. The basket is a selection of the the best options to trade on that day. The system automatically chooses it for you. So no decision fatigue on that front. And it's pretty representative of, of what the whole market's doing. So we can see that there was a, a fairly cyclical action to the market today. and. There were a couple of red trades probably later, but we were above opening price. And really, this is what attracts me right here. This nice green background, trending green. The bulls were out all morning. So let's take a look at a couple of trades back from that section. There's plenty plenty of, of hunting down there. So we we generally take the first five minutes off. It's, it's just overnight trade, trading is settling. So I'd like to go to 9.36. And oh, let me take it, take the basket away, and we'll go to ones, one minute candles to start off the day. And we'll get you into 937. Let's look at AVGO, which is uh, Broadcom Limited. Frequent ap appearance on our, uh, uh, well, in our trade logs and, and in our trade reviews. So AVGO had a nice, breakout going on above uh, RB, had strong green start to the morning and rocketed right up from RA to RB, and then it took a break. So it, some of the, the resistance at RB really took into effect, but then it started charging back up and we got some nice volume to start a new trend. So this is a good time to pull up the replay control, or I'm sorry, the buy close, buy a call, We'll see what AVGO does for us. Okay, so it's already showing some nice returns, 13% in one minute. Under normal circumstances, I think I would be out right there. There's not, not any resistance in sight though. So we've got 79 cents until the next resistance line, which would be RC. And yeah, it's uh, it's fairly fairly supported by the market conditions and the main list is looking pretty, pretty green. So a powerful green trend in the market. Let's stay in and see what happens. Okay, still charging up, higher highs, right? We talk about higher highs and lower lows, and we've still got 56 cents to go to the next resistance. 257 is the next price point, but that doesn't really scare me. We want the round numbers are the ones that tend to, to stop the investors. Okay, and they're right there in one nice big candle. We, we broke through RC, but we also hit that blue star. And for me, that's that's plenty. We, uh, we're still sitting at 30%. So that's a darn good start to your morning. Let's close out and enjoy the rest of our day. Beautiful. Nice, smooth, no real stress. No, no. And uh, it was right at the top of the, the main list, so easy pickings. But if you happen to, to miss that one, just a couple minutes earlier, there was a trade on, or a minute after we got into AVGO, there was a nice trade on Goog, which is one of the two Google tickers we trade. This one's a little bit, a little bit lower volume. This is how it how it shaped up to begin the day. So not as strong green as as all the other stocks in the basket, but this big candle. I guess this would be a good time for the coach's tip of the day is when there's a, a candle that's oversized like this, you don't really know what to do with it. It's nice. It's nice if you're looking on the bull side, on the call side for options, but it's just in such stark contrast to everything else. Plus it broke that resistance line for, for my students. I would coach them to just, Hey, this is the first candle of the trend. If, if this does become a trend, just move forward and see what happens. So Take a look at, at this guy. That's what we call a doji. It's kind of just flat and has a big wick on the top and the bottom. So it's kind of neutral. 
go one more has proven itself that now it's now it's a green trend so safe safe bet it hasn't reversed you know because of the resistance line so it's a safe bet that we buy here we it could go up as high as 1060 which would be the next big big price point or maybe rc so we'll see but we'll just get into a call here move forward okay nice big candle we're not quite at 1060 yet and we've got two dollars fifteen cents left to go until rc which is the next resistance line and within one candle we hit it so that's plenty for me the wick crossed rc and then drew back just a little bit so retraced and we got a volume spike so remember this was a low volume move that volume spike could be the trend stopping as well as it, it might have been because of the 1060 price point or could have been rc or both but either way save as bet take your profits and, and move on yeah too many uh, indicators saying uh, we're going to have some trouble here. Yeah, absolutely. Essentially, you know, what we coach in, in the coaching program, you can enroll in advanced coaching. We'll go over a lot of mindset training as well as give you some rules to, to start off with and, and help you hone your, hone your strategy. So we have a stepping block teaching method, but the mindset will, will stop you from getting greedy. The, having a good trading mindset says 12% is a pretty darn good day. And the rules will, will tell you which indicators dictate the, when to get in and get out. One more trade on this day, actually starting right here at 9, 940, we had Baidu up towards the top of the list. Nice, got the volume back on this one. Goog was a pretty, pretty low volume, but the story of Baidu in this in this case is it had a really good green charge and then we talk frequently about the blue star scott being an exit indicator so it definitely stopped this this green trend we can see that pretty clearly but blue star can also mean an, another green trend coming so if it hits that blue star and then it takes a breath we have some bears take over and it just goes sideways with these wicks it kind of got into a rut around 168 just above that resistance line rd but now it's breaking back above 168 and we're getting some volume back so the story of it here was the volume really really was nice and high through that green trend and then it fell off but if it's coming back we might have the start of another trend let's buy a call see where she goes okay we're getting higher highs a little bit of a VG warning at uh, 941. And then right there at 942, that's that's nine point or that's nine percent. That's pretty good. I don't see any resistance in sight, 134. So you could stay in if you wanted to. The the, the one concern is you've got that volume spike again. It's, it's the highest it's been since since this one. However, and that follow, was followed with a red candle, but it did have a big green candle two candles later. So you can see what happens and if you're if you're in at 944 and we're about to have the time window come at you it's a good time to to close what you got and get on out so exit yeah. points would be either here at 942 or 944 for roughly the same nine nine to ten percent beautiful Let's see what we had on the day Three calls in, in about a eight minute time span. Pretty darn good. Yeah, 30%, do 12.5%, Baidu just under a, a sliver under 10%. Pretty good day. Yeah, absolutely. And trends can come with volume or without, but you definitely you want volume on your side for those two bigger ones. That's right. Awesome. Thank you very much, Coach Jay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 15th, 2019. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you guys.